What's up, guys? Could you day with a game plan game? So now you may notice that I'm actually using my uh, replay software, uh, which I said wasn't working in uh, one of my videos earlier. I fixed it. Um, I figured out I was doing something else that wasn't related to this and it wasn't working so I had to fix it I had to um, do uh, something and um, it, it fixed this somehow I don't really know how but um so yeah we're playing Gangplank um, and the reason why I'm playing Gangplank is because um, I I guess Riot doesn't really like me playing um non-meta picks and um ranked um because uh Urgot and Ziggs and Swain they are they Riot's not too happy that I'm playing those um so I've been uh I've been demoted um because of that so back to game plank I'm going to be uh practicing his practicing my ass off on this guy and um, until um, I'm challenger with him. So, this game's gonna go really well. As you can see, I'm up against a freaking Elise top. Um, so, yeah. Already? Oh, we go pretty good. Um, Volleybear comes up, it gives me a nice little gank. Um, Nothing really happens though. I am going to be farming and farming and farming away this game. Um, pretty much my whole goal on Gameplank early on is to farm. That's all I really want to do. And it's perfect because I'm allowed to get away with that as a top winner. Um, the only thing I'm not allowed to get away with though a lot of times is um, actually building uh, actually playing somebody like Gameplank in top lane, a lot of times I'm forced to play um, tanks. So I can't really remember why I ult this game, um, which is a little bit upsetting. But um, because I want to, because I want to show you guys my thought process and where I'm ulting and why I'm ulting, but um, pretty much uh, if you know how I like to play game playing, I have my eyes on the mini-map constantly, um, which is partially why I really shouldn't be getting uh, killed that easily by a gank. Um, so, Elise is gonna try to take out my own my pink ward, which is just really dumb on her, and then she E's, which allows Volibear to, cat to get time to catch up to her and me, and we kill her. Easy peasy. Simple kill. And we're gonna try to push down her tower, but she decides she's gonna TP back in, so I'm just like, okay, cool. Uh, then Volibear is gonna go into their jungle, which honestly isn't the best of ideas if you were just top. Um, and they did not see you walk by the ward. Um, so he almost actually killed Quinn there, uh, but he didn't. So, yeah. Uh, my ult's down, so I don't really have to worry about that coming back up for a while. Uh, because I, I, once again, I don't know when I ulted this game, quite honestly. If I didn't ult on top myself, I can't remember when I ulted. Um, so, one of the things that I'm working on with game playing um, is farming up, uh, getting multiple minions with my barrels, uh, which is really hard to do actually very, very early on. Um, and even after you get some crit, it's still very hard to do. So, yeah. I see this, I see what happened down here. Um, they got turret and whatnot, but um, whenever there's a lot of people up, grouped up on the map, I always have to uh, look and see what's going on. Because uh, sometimes your alt can change the uh, change the tide of things. As you can see right now, I see I see what's going on here. I'm paying, trying to figure out um, if I can alt or not to get a kill, or if he, or if I need an alt to help save someone. Alting to save somebody really isn't the best of ideas. Um, for the most part, it helps if I just. Um, for the most part, on gameplay, it helps if you alt to. Um, 
to like uh for like a counter gank if the jungler goes down if the jungler like ganks spot lane you can do you can alt for you can alt for like a counter gank type of thing or uh, you can alt to um execute somebody pretty much but, uh, so Quinn's picked up a few kills now, and she is not looking fun to play against. Um, so I'm a little bit scared of her right now. But I'm doing pretty good on my Serpents. I've got, uh, I wish the one thing I don't like about my replays is that it does not show the numbers quite well. But um, I've got like 320-ish uh, right now, which is pretty good. Um, because normally on gameplay, what one what um I find that is a uh, average for me, and that's good for me is um on average I will get my five hundred servants by eighteen minutes um and this is an average uh if I go up against a if I go up uh, against a lane bully or a ranged um top laner uh it kind of changes how how fast I'm going to get uh, my Serpents. But for the most part... Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a little tired. For the most part, though, I get my 500 Serpents at 18 minutes. Um, if I get it before then, that means I'm doing good on my farm. If I get it after then, then that means I'm behind on farm. That's how I that's how I usually view it because uh, your silver serpents do inc increase uh, how effective your ult is. Um, since your ult, you get the increased fire rate, then you get the increased damage, and then you get the move speed, which is honestly completely pointless. But uh, the increased uh, fire rate means more slows, um, and technically means more damage too. But you're not really using it to kill somebody with it. You're not using it as a damage source. You're using it more so to um, <coughs> to add a slow and just to have damage in a team fight. Plus, it also works as a good zoning tool. So I have my alt, and I am looking around the map for plays. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying to see what's going on down here. Um, so whenever you see me stand still, that means I'm looking around on the map for a kill. Um, so Quinn's going to TP down bot, and or at least she was trying to. Or Elise. I keep, I keep thinking Quinn stop. So Elise was trying to. Um, Quinn, for whatever reason, thought we were gonna run to her a bit, a bit closer, and um, she didn't. Uh, like we didn't, uh, because I think she wanted to vault over the wall, and that didn't quite happen. So I'm trying to figure out what to do right now. Um, like I see Volibear's kind of in trouble, but I decide he's got this, and um, he actually does, surprisingly. Uh, but so now I'm gonna push on the tower. And I didn't know Elise burned her TP here, uh, because I did not see her TP on the map. However, since she's not here, I know I can push this in. Um, although, she's been gone for a while now, so I assume that she's gonna be here. Okay, so I ult here, doesn't really accomplish much anything. Um, but it is going to actually, um, it actually picks me up a kill for Tom Kent, on Tom Kent somehow. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't remember if Volley gets, yeah, I don't think he gets this because Elise is coming too, and, um, but I, I TP in, um, and attempt to, uh, try and help him out, and he kind of, once again, is going a bit too far deep. This Annie is doing a really good job of stopping my, um, my barrels, which is frustrating, but um, she can't she can't do anything to me. She can't burst me down or anything because I have my my um, oranges to make her anything that she throws at me useless. So she alts, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. You're dead. So I'm not gonna be able to actually kill her here. I thought I had a, I had I couldn't keep chasing after her. So the hope was that my Q was gonna kill her. That didn't happen. So as you can see right here, I've set up my barrels. I think I missed my Q there, uh, or it was on cooldown, so I couldn't you, I couldn't proc the barrels with Q, which um, really sucked. But massive damage nonetheless. Unfortunately, since I don't have another barrel set up, 
Nothing's gonna really happen. So, um, right now, um, I'm getting cocky on myself because I know I've, uh, gotten to farm up this whole game. And whenever you let the game thing farm up, it's, uh, not, uh, good for the enemy team. Or, if he's on the enemy team, it's not good for your team then. Uh, because honestly, like, all I want to do is just farm on game thing, and I know it's over once I get that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just so much fun. The one, okay, so as you can see, they're killing my barrels pretty fast, um, which is one of the things I need to work on on game thing, is, uh, out -queuing, uh, their auto attacks. But, um, so I alt here, uh, trying to get the slow and the damage off on them. Doesn't quite really do much, to be quite honest, um, because we were gonna kill Quinn regardless. We get Quinn. Hmm. How good to say I got about 500 health, which is, um, which is pretty good. And I picked up a blue buff somewhere along the way here. Um, I got that from Quinn. And oh my gosh, did you see the damage on Ezreal and Tom Kench? Uh, unfortunately, my alt is down, so I don't get to kill anybody, and, uh, Zeref, uh, not paying attention. <coughs> Ethan. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna run back to top, catch the, catch what farm I can, and, yeah, I am clearing these waves out pretty fast now. Um, if, uh, I get Triforce and... Triforce and BF Sword, it's, uh, the wave's gone. Especially if I, uh, cr crit the wave. If I crit the wave, then it's gone for sure. If I don't crit the wave, then I take out about half of it. So right now, I'm trying to find a pick. Um, one of the, a really, really good thing is, um, if you can get a pick, if you can, uh, hit some, if you can hit a squishy with one of your barrels, um, then that's pretty much the sign to go in for your team, as you pretty much just half help somebody. Uh, which is really good. As you can see, I get a little bit too close there. If uh, the enemy team was really good, they could have uh, really capitalized on that mistake I made there. Um, but they don't, so... Whatever. It's normals anyways. So, but still, people want to win the normals. So we're trying to get something here. And at this point in time, I'm just kind of just... I'm just kind of like, just like, oh guys, this is everyone all at the Annie. Just everyone all at the Annie. You'll see it here soon. Um, but I'm just like, yeah, just everyone, just everyone alt. And, um, Xerif doesn't ult. I don't think Ethan ulted once in this game. Or like, okay, the Quinn. It's like, yeah, everybody all Quinn. Salty follows, uh, Draven follows up, which is salty. But no ult from Ethan. We wouldn't have killed her anyways, but it still would have been fun. And then we all die. Or at least we take massive damage. Um, but since I'm Gangplank, and I have barrels, and they decide to all walk in on them, they actually get super low. And then if Ethan would ult, which he's not, because for whatever reason he decided that ulting this game was completely pointless. This is not what you're supposed to do on Xerath, guys. Pro, pro Zero. Pro Zeref tip. All the people at like no hell. Honestly, this game he did pretty poorly. Whatever. I did good though. And we're about to see my dragon seal. In about two minutes. So let's get let's get to that then. I'm still down. I finally just got back up. I'm gonna TP back mid because I felt like they were gonna their the enemy team was gonna be pushing on it and my team I didn't think my team could really defend against it. Um and Gameplank just has such superior wave clear. So nice. So they've got two good bot, which means we can push mid to a degree. Um. What happens is, though, we don't really get what we want from it, and, um... Uh, I'm like, okay, okay, someone's gotta go, someone's gotta go bot now to take care of this. And we run into them all. And what happens now is really bad. Volibear is trying to chase a Quinn who can kite him rather easily. Well, I'm trying to kite for Braum. And now Volibear's caught himself in a really bad situation. And yeah, it's a good thing I didn't see how low the Quinn was either, um, 
Because had I did, I would have ulted her and killed her, and then what was about to happen would have never happened. So I'm trying to get as much vision on there as possible, but they're going to take it out because it's just a measly far sight. Okay. So then, this is where things get interesting. I kill Quinn because she had no health. And I'm like, ooh, they've got no smite here. So I ult to get vision on the dragon. And then, bam! Seal the, uh, seal the dragon with a barrel. I'm yelling in my mic right now. And everybody in uh, Curse Voice is bleeding in their ears but man i was happy man you don't you don't get a steel dragon all that much with game plank it's honestly it's honestly really difficult to steal dragon because you think oh you can ult it it's just like yeah but the ult doesn't do damage the ult doesn't really do all that much damage um so they get caught out the enemy gets caught out on top and so now i'm like okay guys we can do dragon or baron we just killed quinn again let's go ahead and do it um and Tom Kench can't really stop us. So I back. I now have um, my Essence Reaver, which is really nice. Uh, because now I've got max cooldown reduction. And I'm never running out of mana. Um, so I am looking pretty good. We fight. We kill. It's pretty much GG. And they're going to surrender. But oof, man. That dragon steal, I think that's that's just a highlight reel in itself. Um, we're not gonna be able to kill these here, unfortunately. Or I thought they surrendered before then. Okay, whatever. They surrender, and yeah, I am super happy that I was playing game playing because um, like I said I'm practicing game playing just uh to perfect him. Uh, because as you can see, I was doing I ended nine and one, but um, I really 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 want to get really 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 good at game plank because apparently games where i go 11 3 and 19 on game plank isn't enough to carry my team for whatever reason um so yeah i just i need to get i want to get really good at game plank so that way i have um control over the game um and i've literally all i'm doing in ranked is queuing up for mid and top and just playing game playing only thing i'm doing only thing i'm going to be doing now because i was doing a lot of troll not trolls it wasn't troll picks like i wasn't doing like shit like team support but i was playing off meta stuff and it wasn't like the the point of it was to catch and the point of playing off meta stuff is to catch people off guard and what ended up just happening is i just um my team didn't know how to play around me. Like when I played Urgot, Juggler never came and um, Juggler would never come and gank me when I had ult. Even though when Urgot has ult, it's free kill, or and um, just stuff like that. And then there was one game that I just got um, my ass handed to me because I I really was not all that experienced with what I chose and yeah. So going back to my to my old carry and gonna climb the ladder with him so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it. like and subscribe if you did and see you in the next one thanks